Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Siddharth, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I run Microsoft Active Directory dependent apps and servers in Google Cloud? So let's start by thinking, why and when would you even need Active Directory in the cloud? Some common use cases are if you have VMs that are domain join, you have something that needs Windows integrated authentication, group policy, you're trying to work with the .NET app, and so on. So at times like this, if you simply open up network connectivity between your Google Cloud networks and wherever your Active Directory resides, you may find that things get too slow. On the other hand, if you try to deploy full Active Directory domain controllers, it's often a challenge to find people who are skilled both in Active Directory and in Google Cloud. And even if you're lucky to have them on your team, security or infra caution needs go sky high. That's where it's interesting to talk about this managed service for Microsoft Active Directory. It's a fully managed service. It runs the actual Microsoft Active Directory domain. And for each customer, Active Directory runs isolated. It is protected against accidental misconfigurations of IAM policies or network firewall rules. And the domain is frequently patched with the latest security patches. Here you can see two domains, corporate and partners, that have been set up as managed domains on Google Cloud. You can see that the partners domain has domain controllers deployed in two regions already. And as your partnerships evolve, you can always come back and add or remove regions from this list. Let's take a closer look at the corporate domain. You can see a lot of details about this domain. You can set the password to get the credentials to be able to manage this Active Directory domain. And security is baked into the design of the service from the get-go. The domain is only available on networks you choose to authorize. The service also deeply integrates with Stackdriver monitoring. As I switch over to Stackdriver, you can see that the domain has been performing in a good way. It's healthy over the last hour, the last day, the last week, and so on and so forth. As I come back to the domain details page, I want to talk to you about an interesting requirement I hear from customers often. A lot of the times, people are interested in getting the same users to be able to have access to their infrastructure as it runs on Google Cloud without having to sync identities in and they want users to be able to authenticate against the Active Directory wherever it resides today. To support that, we have an interesting feature which integrates with your existing on-premises Active Directory domains. You can see there is a one-way trust set up established with onprem.example.com Active Directory domain. And the Google managed Active Directory domain is trusting your other Active Directory domain. As you can see, I'm RDP'd into a Windows Server 2016 VM that is running on Google Cloud. You can see that it is domain joined to the GCP managed Active Directory domain corporate.example.com. At this point, computer authentication, authentication for any service accounts that are running on this VM, as well as group policy are being serviced out of the GCP managed Microsoft AD domain. It is interesting to see that I'm actually logged in with a user account that originated in the on-premises Active Directory and is able to authenticate over the Active Directory trust. While logged in as the same user, I can use my familiar AD tools, such as Active Directory Administrative Center, to manage the data inside the GCP managed AD domain. In fact, we have pre-created some groups to make this even easier. One question I often hear about is I only want certain users to be able to remote desktop into the VMs that are running on Google Cloud. No problem, we have that covered. Just add and remove users from this pre-created group, and only those users will be able to remote desktop in to your domain join VMs. You can also use Active Directory PowerShell and other AD tools to manage the data in this Active Directory domain. So there you have it. By using Google Cloud's managed service, you can get up and going with Active Directory in the cloud. Configure it as a standalone managed AD domain or connect with your existing Active Directory domains. 
You can use it for your infrastructure migration and modernization needs as you bring your infra to Google Cloud. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.